Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. Today we'll learn the correct pronunciation of the plural form of some of the words, about half a dozen words. There are many more words than, than just half a dozen, but these words I come across on a regular basis, particularly when I'm teaching the, uh, particularly when I'm teaching the youngsters in the SAD prep course or SED prep course, it happens, it tends to happen more often where they do not know how to pronounce these words when they appear in the plural form. Apparently nobody has taught them, nobody has taken the time to teach them the proper pronunciation of these simple words. Let's begin the process, shall we? Let's begin the process. The process, the word process is our first word. It's a very straightforward, simple word as you can see, process. What happens? when we have a plural of it. When we have plural, we need to put ES at the end, and as a result, we have one more syllable at the end, with a Z sound. Process, process, is not processy, it's not processes, it's processes. It has a Z sound. Process, processes. Make sure you pronounce the Z sound at the end, processes, not processes. Process, processes. Let's go to the next one. The next word we have here is very, again, very straightforward. These are all very simple words, by the way. Next word is very straightforward. Parenthesis. Parenthesis. Of course, you know what a parenthesis is. Parenthesis is a bracket. Right here. There's a parenthesis right here. There's another parenthesis right here. There's one more here. There are three. Th there are three of them. Notice how I use the pronoun. There are three of them. There are three of what? There are three of. Let's find out how to pronounce this word in the plural form. There are three of... First is spelling. Instead of an I, instead of an I, now we're going to have E. And it will be pronounced the same way as before, except the last syllable, the last syllable changes. And that's all you have to remember. It is no longer pronounced parenthesis, it is parentheses, 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 and it the spelling changes from the I to E. One more time, we have three parentheses. One parenthesis, second parenthesis, third parenthesis, we have three parentheses. As a matter of fact, we have four now. Let's go on then, number three. Number three. Should I try to squeeze in the bottom here? Let's squeeze in the bottom. Or why should we squeeze in the bottom if we can if we can just do from the top? Number three. Again, like I said, these are these are simple words. But still they are mispronounced. Hi. Hypothesis. Of course, you know what the hypothesis is. What about the plural? The plural is going to follow the same, same system here. Exact same system. Nothing changes. Hypothesis. And then the I, the I becomes E. I becomes E. It has the same pronunciation in the beginning. All the syllables are the same, except the very last one. Except the very last one. The last one is to be pronounced. Cs, not 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 cis, not cis, but cs. It's a long e. Cis, cs. Hypothesis, hypotheses. Parenthesis, parentheses. Let's do one more. They all follow the same pattern as I said. And now you begin to get a hang of it. Now you begin to get a hang of it and hopefully you will no longer mispronounce them and you come across these words in the plural form. And hopefully you will no longer misspell them. Oh, now, oh, sis. Very simple pronunciation of course. Oh, now, oh, sis. See, the last syllable, sis. Analysis. What happens when it appears in the plural form? A-N-A-L-Y-S 
And now, as, as before, the I, the I is going to become E. I is going to become E. The pronunciation is going to remain the same up until the very last syllable. Instead of cis, we're going to have C's. And it, is, it, and it is to be pronounced, and it is to be pronounced, analysis, the singular, analysis, sis, analyses, hypothesis, hypotheses, parenthesis, parentheses. Let's go on then, next one, number five. We're going to have six of them, and therefore number five qualifies as the penultimate one. As the as to the penultimate one. Again, simple pronunciation, as you will see. Cry with a long I. Cry. Sis. Sis. Cry sis. What are you supposed to happen when you put it in a plural form? Same as before. C R I and after the S, after the S, the I would have to convert to an E. That's all it is. That's all there is. And now it's pronounced cry sees. Same as before. Nothing changes. Same pattern, same exact pattern. Crisis, crisis, sis, crises. Analysis, analyses, parenthesis, parentheses, hypothesis, hypotheses. You get the idea. Let's do the very last one, shall we? What does the word penultimate mean? Penultimate is just a very fancy way of saying second to the last. Penultimate is a word we learn in our regular vocabulary words, in our regular vocabulary lessons. It says 100, but as, I, as, as of right now, as I speak, there are only 75 of them as of right now. There are 75 videos that will do the vocabulary words that you are likely to encounter on the, any of these tests that you're preparing for on the T's, SE's, GRE, GMAT, SAT, SED. If you're interested in improving your vocabulary, you will find those 75 videos in addition to this particular video that you're looking at. So crisis, crises. Let's do one last one. The word, the word is Prague, Prague, no, sis. Same as before, prognosis, and you can. You can pretty well uh, uh, tell now as what's going to happen next. The story is going to unfold the same in the same manner as before. P R O G N O S, and then I will have to become E. This I will have to become E. Pronunciation is going to remain the same until the very last level, where it's to be pronounced as C's, not cis. Not cis, but C's. Prognosis, prognosis. Prognosis, prognosis. Crisis, crises. Hypothesis, hypotheses, and so on and so forth. That's all it is. So there are two things you need to pay attention to. First, of course, is how do you pronounce it? You don't end up mispronouncing it. And secondly, you want to make sure that you that your spelling is correct. The I's need to be changed to E's. That's what it is. I know.